Uh, so the coconut analogy. Um, so some people in your audience probably don't know this, but the first time you used this analogy was in a debate against Excalesme in 2018 that uh, Destiny hosted. Um, and he's a libertarian as well. But um, I wanted to know if you had like thought of the coconut analogy like weeks before the debate or before the debate or something like that or did you think about it like in real time during the debate um and what exactly was it that you were like your purpose in making it so hyperbolic and funny like go on <laughs> well <clears throat> uh it, it, i did use it in that x skills me conversation and it this, was less it was less complicated as the other one though but it was still generally the same thing oh, right yeah. i've refined the formula with time yeah um but no i i i was actually shocked when i saw that x skills me bit and, and saw that i'd used it back then because i didn't remember using it really then. no no <laughs> god no um it, it was it was wild to me when i saw that like oh my god i have no memory and everything keeps happening all over again you know like trapped in a time loop uh, it's it's not a novel analogy, but it's also never something I've consciously thought up beforehand. Um, the 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 idea of using a deserted island as a way of demonstrating scarcity in its simplest form isn't new to me. Uh, I somebody saw a similar analogy that went back all the way to the the seventies, I think, and it probably goes back way further than that too. It's just it's it's a good analogy. Now the dick sucking thing was was. Uh, evocative edginess for the sake of evocative edginess but I think there's also a bit of utility in that because a lot it's it's meant to be a, a pointer against libertarians and most libertarians I'd go so far as to say like basically all of them are men and a lot of them are men with very strange and dumb ideas about their identity and their autonomy and I feel like talking about sucking dick cuts at the heart of the issue and removes from them the ability to do any of this uh how would you call it this you know uh i would simply work harder because i'm built different that kind of bullshit you know because if it was like uh if the coconut man said you know oh i'll give you coconuts as long as you work for me then the guy would be like oh of course i would simply work very hard and impress him with my hard work and get all the coconuts and work so hard he gave me all the co like you know they do some shit like that uh, but by making it sucking dick, um, an activity that no libertarian has ever enjoyed because they've never done it because they're virgins, uh, I feel like I cut at the heart of the issue a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah, um, I remember hearing, <laughs> like, I remember that, um, hearing that analogy, well, not for the first, or for the first time for me in your Adam Kokesh debate um because i remember when i first got into your content i started watching your debates and the one with adam kokash is one of the first handful of ones that i watched i was like whoa i quite like that, that with one. the coconuts yeah that's a good debate i go back to that one from time to time i i've had to send the clip of the of you giving the analogy to friends of mine so if i ever make a reference to it they'll know what i'm talking about um <laughs> like I, I can't like just not but um the, the other thing that you've randomly came up with uh that you've used in a debate before is the olden's number thing yeah and that is fun you can do that on anyone so like i've i'm a substitute teacher this is bad but i have like asked students in class like hey do, does anyone know about olden's number and they're and occasionally i'll get a student say yeah i know i think i've heard about it and then it's like oh really could you tell me about it They're like N i don't know uh, I have to go look no, it up. Well, <laughs> it's such a call out yeah no it it, it, yes. it it works so the thing is i preempted the the reason i came up with this was because of my arguments with tankies um the, the thing that I've noticed is that a lot of people will avoid making real arguments and instead defer to a kind of reflexive, you know, I know it all because I know this name, I've read this book, I've, you know, seen this movie, I've read this piece, that bullshit. 
Um, which is why I say, you know, that I've read all theory because they yeah. can't prove that I haven't. So let's mm -hmm. talk about the actual issue then. The the Alden's number thing is kind of a catch for that from the other side of things, you know. People who are so obsessed with doing in sincerity what I do in jest that they will essentially pretend. The, the, the thing is, honest to God, like, I think a lot of people just sort of reflexively say yes when they're asked if they've heard of something, you know. Uh, yeah. But when you're doing that in a debate, in a in a in a test of skill where knowledge means a lot, um, I think it says a lot about a person if they reflexively say yes to something like that. It, it means that they're they're concerned with with maintaining the image of somebody who knows that much more than you do, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and um, I've I've done it with other things, not just in math classes. Where I remember one day. I was asking them, I was supposed to be going over the citizenship test questions with them because in Oklahoma, uh, our high schoolers have to pass a citizenship, citizenship, U.S. citizenship test before they graduate. New rule, new law. Cool. Uh, anyway, it's, it's kind of dumb, actually. But nonetheless, so I had to read off the questions with them. And, it was a handful of students in class and none of them were really being responsive. And I just asked them, hey, does anyone know about Alden's amendment? And they all like kind of looked at each other like, no, I don't think so. No. And then I was like, really? You guys should have learned about that. And they were like, could you just, and then they were like, can we look it up? But I'm like, sure. And it's funny. Like they, it's, it's a good one to use whenever you just sort of like have fun with people. It's. And you gotta know, be careful. Yeah. One of these days, one of them is going to understand the reference and call you out for watching me. See, I know, right? Because that's the other, like, usually they'll just go to, like, they'll type it in Google and see it on Urban Dictionary, and then they'll see it, and then I'm just like, yeah, I know that guy, Vosh. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah they'll I be like, oh, that racist, sexist, transphobic, <laughs> Nazi, pedophile, communist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ironically, though, I have had two students of mine who knew who you were uh because they saw me on your live stream last year and one of them came in class and was like i saw you on vosh's stream and i was like wait you saw me where and they're like yeah and i was like oh my god okay yeah this cool. is this is why i concealed carry <laughs> at all times just to be ready you know for anyone <laughs> recognizing me like that in public you always yeah this, like all 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 fans of me should keep the cyanide pill tucked right underneath their tongue uh <laughs> so that you know it, if the time ever comes they can immediately uh uh you know de deploy the escape yeah um yeah um uh, oh and is it i think it's weird i don't know other people probably do this too who are obsessed with the coconut analogy but when i see people in an argument I always say, I always, either I'll say it out loud or I'll say it to myself like, oh, bust out the coconuts on them. And I'm just, it's, no. Anyway, you have good debate tactics. Uh, the coconut thing's see. a pretty niche. Yeah. It's very niche. Yeah. Pointer. No one, with, with, yeah. yeah, in terms of what it, what it defeats too. I've seen yeah. some people, apparently there are people in my community who will use it as like this catch-all anti-capitalist argument yeah. which it's not of course it's yeah. it's specifically about the idea of a you know um like a, a free uh, transaction or like um what, what would you call it uh you know um voluntary vol yeah true voluntary transactions yeah thank you um and yeah. coercion consent and stuff like that but outside of that <clears throat> its uses are fairly limited 